Hi, I'm Nick, your 3D coach. Today, we're gonna look pretty, but just like our previous video on getting good audio, there are things we can do outside of OBS and things we can do inside of OBS. First, we have to look at real life. Scary, I know. This is harsh light. This is harsh or hard light. Hard light is too honest. It's gonna show all your imperfections and make you look harsh. This is soft light. It has to go through a piece of paper that diffuses the harsh light and makes it softer. Soft light makes you pretty. It'll smooth out your imperfections and make you look nice and even. Big rich video nerds use things called soft boxes to get this effect. But you don't have to be a rich video nerd to get soft lighting. The best trick is to bounce it. If you bounce light off of a wall or something, it's gonna come back softer. That hard light ain't so hard after it's been beat up by the wall. So if you have a lamp aimed at your face right now, bounce it off of a wall so that the softer light spills onto your face. You could even point it at the ceiling, bounce it off the ceiling and have it come back down. If you've got an LED lamp where you know, where you know that the bulb won't get hot, you could put a piece of paper in front of it to help diffuse it. You can also buy diffusion paper, which does a much better job. You could also buy a softer bulb, or you could get a lamp with a paper shade around it. Cool, so where do you place them? Well, if you've only got one light, you're gonna wanna try and put it right in front of you to get as even lighting on your face as possible. If it's off to the side, you're gonna create really harsh shadows on one side of your face. If you've got a window in your room, face into the light with the webcam, between your window and your face. You also don't wanna put light directly behind you or it'll put you in silhouette. Your background will be bright, but no light is directly hitting your face. So you'll just look like a dark shadow. I had to clip garbage bags to that window behind me to reduce the look of a silhouette on me. I also have a window on this side of me, so I need to remember to close the blinds when I record or I go into a meeting. Otherwise, this side of my face is super lit up. And here's a fun fact, your photos and videos will look a million times better on an overcast, cloudy day than on a bright and sunny day. Lots of people think you want really bright sun, that's harsh light. It creates a bunch of harsh shadows. Clouds diffuse that sunlight and make it softer. Okay, color correction and contrast. Select your webcam in the sources window here, then click the filters button. And in the effect filters, we're gonna hit the plus button to add an effect filter and we will add a color correction. Hit OK. And the simplest way to get a nicer looking video, just up the contrast. Ooh. So before it was here, and we can just up it a little bit. And already with 0.26, I think that looks better than what it was at zero, right? It looks so washed out, so. Hmm, there you go. You can play with saturation if you want, which just means how colorful everything is. So if we get rid of that, I am now in black and white which is very flattering to my bad skin. But generally, this contrast slider is what's gonna do it for you. It's gonna be the best bang for your buck. If I turn this color correction on and off with this I button, you can see the difference that just a little bit of contrast made. You can also apply something called a LUT, and they look like this. I spent a few hours trying to understand what a LUT was so that I could teach it to you guys, but I have no idea how they work. Couldn't figure it out, but here's what they do. The link in the description below. My British cousin Pete over at Gaming Careers has a zip file of 30 free LUTs. You're gonna have to give him an email, but go ahead, do that, and then download it. That download is gonna give you a zip file, which you should extract to this file path because that's where OBS is gonna look for these LUTs by default. Once you have those LUTs extracted to that file path, select your webcam, click on filters again. We're going to turn off our color correction for now. I'll move this over. Press the add button to add an effect filter then click on apply LUT. Okay, and now when we hit browse, it's gonna take us right to these LUTs and we can open them one by one here and see how they look. Do we like it? Do we not like it? And we'll just keep trying one LUT after another. Browse, next. Every time asking ourselves, do we like this? Is this what I wanna look like on camera? Definitely don't wanna look like this. And if the LUT is too much, you can click this slider and drag down how much effect the LUT has on your video. So this is the original, and this is the full LUT. And another pro tip, just use a DSLR, bro. You got money, right, bro? You still use webcams, bro? Okay, I'm half serious on this one, hear me out. If you already have a Canon DSLR, Canon just released a utility that lets you use your DSLR camera as a webcam with a USB for free. That's a huge upgrade in quality from a webcam, from something that might just be sitting in a closet in your house. However, cross your fingers and hope your DSLR has autofocus uh, and face detection. Otherwise, you're gonna go out of focus and the whole thing 
thing's gonna be unusable. You're gonna be very frustrated. Okay, so you don't have a DSLR, but maybe you were saving up to buy a nicer webcam. Well, then don't waste your money. Go buy a used GoPro on Facebook Marketplace or an old Panasonic Lumix G7. Those will look loads better than any webcam, including the fancy Logitech C920 webcam that I'm using right now. If you're worried your camera battery will die, stop worrying. You can get a plug-in dummy battery on Amazon for like 20 bucks and you'll never have to worry about battery life again. So not only are you streaming with a DSLR, but you can record classes or YouTube videos without messing around with your SD card. OBS will store your videos locally to your computer. No SD card reader required. Easy peasy. And with all those powers combined, you too can tweak your settings to look a little bit better on OBS. Now, how do we think that blurred background in OBS? Eager students can probably figure it out from a video I did a while ago on faking green screen in OBS. But if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, it is super easy. And I'll show you how if you subscribe and join the team and come back next week. I'll see you then. Stay beautiful. This title is clickbaity. I want to make it perfectly clear. You are absolutely stunning. And we're going to make sure that OBS reflects that truth.